Hello automation anywhere lovers welcome back to KT sessions get ready to learn how to automate your tasks like a pro let's get started today we are diving into the world of logs in automation anywhere 360 we will explore how to create audit logs and error logs these logs are essential for tracking the performance of our bots identifying issues and ensuring compliance so understanding the audit logs audit logs record the actions performed by our bots providing a detailed history of their activities and error logs are the logs or the records which capture the errors or exceptions that occurs during our bots execution so these uh, logs helps us to uh, troubleshoot and fix the issues uh, what i want to do is i want to create a logs folder for my bot so whenever i run the bot it will create this uh, logs folder if it doesn't exist and in this logs folder it will create a uh, sub folder means uh, if today is 29 then it will create today's date uh, folder and uh, in that folder it will create two sub folders one is for audit log and another one is for error logs so in audit log it will add a t uh, it will create a txt file and in error logs also it will create a txt file so in case of any error it will uh, logs the error in this file and uh, in audit file uh, it will uh, capture all the activities of the bot uh, means all the actions performed by the bot okay so i want to create this uh, thing in my bot all right so let's go to the control room so first of all uh, i will uh, take this folder of a360 so this is the root folder and in this folder i'm going to perform the next steps means i will create the log folder and all those things so this is my input folder we can say or the logs folder you can give the path directly so first of all we will uh, assign the name of those folders and files those six folders and files which we want to create and then we will uh, add the logs in those files okay so in line number 6 you can see we are assigning start date a uh, system date to the assign date uh, we will use this to create the folder uh, so basically this will be the name of the first folder uh, this uh, folder which we create for each day we will create a new folder daily uh, in inside that logs folder so inside this logs folder we will create a new folder daily for uh, 28 it is 28 for 29 it is 28 so for this one we are taking a unique name uh, which will be the date of the system so we are assigning this to the assign date and after that we are taking the date and time so this date and time we will use in the our logs file and then we will assign the name of the logs folder so in input folder we will uh, create this logs folder so this is the path of input folder and after input folder we are adding backslash logs okay so we are uh, creating the path of the logs folder then we are creating the path of the logs date folder so the date folder is the this one so uh, the name of the dot date folder will be the logs folder and again so uh, we have created the logs folder already so in this logs folder we are adding backslash assign date assign date is the so today is the system date and after that we are giving the audit log backslash audit log means this will be the path of the audit log folder similarly the path will be for the error log folder and uh, this is the name of the file so you can give any file any name and id you can give any name to the, to your folders okay so this is the path of the uh, audit log file and after that we are checking if folder doesn't exist so we are creating the folder we will create uh, these three folders and uh, in that we will create the audit log file and this one uh we will add this line to the uh logs file in the beginning we are entering this text in log so you can add anything so this will be the basically beginning of the load order log file and uh, for this we are using the log to file action or so we are to, uh, for this we are using uh, log to file action and in this we need to give the file path so in audit log file I mean that will be the txt file so we are and en entering this text uh, uh equals to equal to sign so this will be the basically beginning of that uh, uh logs and uh, when logging we are appending this text to the existing log file similarly we are doing for the error log file and log to file 
so in the first log we will add that will be the bot execution started means we have started this particular bot and similarly we are doing for the error log file also and we are appending that timestamp also so it will add the timestamp okay so this and here will be the our main logic of the board so whatever we are performing in our board for example if you are uh, doing the uh, excel automation or we are uh, automating any other website or we are performing some another uh, steps so for that we will add the logs as per the requirement so first of all uh, we will ke uh, get this uh, task name task port name and we will save this in and then we will add the first log means board started execution on this particular machine and uh, after that whatever action we will perform for that we can add the logs so just you need to use this log to file action and uh, you can uh, add the logs so let me show you so for example i copy this so here we can add more logs means uh, board so now if you are performing any other step we can add those as well and at the end we will add this board name and the execution ending so board has a, our board has run successfully or something so you can add that and in case if you want to add any logs or error logs so for that what we will do is we will uh, uh, if for example in this line number 42 we are, we are applying a condition means if file doesn't exist or file like this false so what we want to do is we want to add something in the error logs means uh, this file is missing from the path or validation error something so uh, as per our requirements we can add the logs just we need to use this action only and uh, like we have this tribe log and uh, in this tribe if there is any error occurred in that case also we can add the log add the error description in the error log file so here we can just simply use this log to file action and uh, we can paste this and in catch block we will save the assign the exception message to one variable that will be error and in log to file what we will do is we will give the path of the error log file so here we will give the path of the error log file and here we will add uh, exception occurred in this port error message so this is how we can add the error logs in our error log file and we will save this and we will run the board so let me show you so this depends upon you for uh, which action you want to uh, if you want to record the logs and here we go our board has created this folder successfully and uh, when we will open this so we can see these two folders audit log error log and in audit log we can see the logs And here we go, we can see log manager board execution started, board started execution on this uh, machine, this is a machine name and the board started task one, empty folder found, log manager board execution ended. So this is how we can add the logs and you can see the timestamp also. And similarly, we can check the error logs. In error logs, it is showing only this one, log manager board execution started uh, because there isn't any error, so it hasn't captured any error. So thank you guys for watching this video. Do let me know if you have any doubt or any question related to this logs manager or any other topic.